What's up, everybody? Welcome to Sketch A Day Live. It is Wednesday, June 17th. <clears throat> Thanks for joining, hanging out. Do this every day. I'm going to start with our warm up. Hopefully, you're warming up every day. It's sketching as well. Shout out to the YouTubers. If this is your first time, hit subscribe, turn on alerts. I think I mentioned yesterday I may have a special guest pop in, so <laughs> we'll see if they pop in, but uh, just have some out-of-town visitors here. So we'll see. If not today, perhaps tomorrow or Friday's show. Hope you're doing well, staying safe. You know, heavy times in the world. Um, not to start on a totally down note, but I found out one of my friends passed away. And I say friend, meaning connections. Um, and it was kind of a weird moment last night. I'd been texting them for, you know, a little bit, a few days here and there. And I didn't get any response. And uh, I was like, what's going on? And so I checked their Facebook and, you know, I saw messages offering condolences and I don't know it was a weird night <laughs> last night um, so yeah sorry I don't mean to start on a totally heavy note but um, I do want to say if you've got loved ones hug them hold them tight spend time with those you care about because you never know what could happen when where how or why all of that all that stuff. So today I'm going to be sketching. I promise Svetlana I'll be doing some submarines. Hopefully she and Art are watching. And I'll probably do the roulette table. Maybe a lemonade stand for Lori. We'll see. If not, we've got plenty of shows ahead. No big deal. Anyhow, I'm sorry to start on that note, but I love you all. Thanks for joining, and uh, yeah, keep people close to you. Keep them, you know, <laughs> cherish that time you have, because you never know. Um, you never know what's going to happen. What are we sketching today? Oh yeah, submarine, roulette table, possibly a lemonade stand of some sort. Go quick as always. I'm trying to try and wrap this up in about an hour. Just getting some straight lines here. I'll just use the same paper. The goal here just to warm up my muscles, get ready. Get my brain going as well. I've got my coffee. This time it will not get cold. I've got the insulated top. If you are watching on Instagram, thank you for joining. I do have the show on YouTube as well. You can check that out, youtube.com slash sketchaday.com. Also updated the website, so any materials I'm using, you can find out that information at sketchaday.com slash stuff I use, or I think slash stuff will work. I'm not entirely sure. Anyhow. What's up, my real name? <laughs> Hi, uh, Explosive Yoda, hello, Lori Spang. Welcome back, Alex. Uh, Hemanth, yeah, it's been a while, what's up? And Alexis, hello, hello. All right, so let's kick things off with the roulette table and then I'll do the submarine and lemonade stand. And I'm just gonna be using pens and markers, that kind of thing. Since I don't gamble a lot, I'm going to pull up an image here just so I have a reference of how this looks just real quick. All right, cool. <clears throat> so I'm going to rotate my paper this way. Zoom out for you YouTubers. Hello, Felix or Felix. I'm drawing a roulette table. Although, it doesn't need to be tall. It doesn't really need to be tall. So I'll go 
wide. And I know there is an ellipse down here. And looks like we come up a little bit, like so. And perhaps something like that. Actually, that's off. So I'll just make it a little wider. We'll cheat. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and add some tick marks to my wheel. I'm not sure how many divisions there are either, so I need to take a look at it. It looks like 32 divisions, so I guess I could divide into 8 and then divide that 4 times. What's up, Matt? So let's do that. Here's my center. So I'm just kind of eyeballing this. Someone rang my doorbell. I hope it's not important. All right, so just going through and making some divisions here. And okay, so now we have, oops, we gotta get this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so this division didn't need to be there, but we'll go ahead and keep dividing. So I should have 16 on each side now. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Perfect. Okay. Because there are 32 divisions. I don't know if I'm going to put the numbers on, on this roulette wheel either. So now I need to do the same thing up here. Divide. This is a tough request, Matt. You guys are always pushing me, though. Yeah, this is a tough one. All right, so now I've got all my divisions. So now I'll just connect and hopefully not get lost here as I connect my lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, okay. So right there. Why do you prefer the flare over a ballpoint Bic? Because um, it's faster. When you sketch a whole line, it's it's a bit faster than... Uh, you won't see the backside, so I don't need to do that. Um, it's a bit faster than using a ballpoint pen because I get a nice solid line. The ballpoint pen, you've got to apply pressure or hit the line multiple times get what you want so I like using the flare for that reason someone said my hand is like a ruler thank you hi Tosif I'm good Manuel what's up thank you for the question Naveen is sketching with me thank you thanks for hanging out so yeah we're just doing a roulette table this was requested by Matt Maybe Matt's really into gambling, I'm not sure. Is gambling legal in the UK? I'm guessing it is. If you're asking me, or you're just a deviant. One of those two things. Oh shoot, I forgot to set up the Patreon post show today, so I'll have to make it up to you guys. My apologies. Like I said, just weird and heavy kind of night. So. so yeah, my apologies. If you are interested in becoming a Patreon though, hit up patreon.com slash sketch a day. It's a great way to support. Uh, let's see. We also have some pins at the top, it looks like. Some pegs. Of some sort. I'm not sure what these are for. You gambling experts. I played roulette once. I guess this is going to be wood. 
trying to see how these even look like do they sit on top of the oh yeah they do okay so this can come down like so I'll just swing partial ellipse here and maybe just come in and I'll have a shadow it's kind of a weird thing to sketch and I also need some thickness to the top which I didn't include I will include that. Hold on just a sec, guys. All right, there we go. Charging up my phone. Gambling in every pub. Pub, interesting. I've never been to the UK. I want to go. I want to go at some point, but never been. I guess technically the closest I've been is Germany. All right, I kind of bungled my clean lines here, but I think I can make it work still. All right, so now, uh, let's see, we've got numbers, we've got wood in the middle here as well. Um, maybe, yeah, there we go. I think that's how it works. My screen mirroring for my iPhone is acting up, guys, on Instagram, so I may not see all your comments, but Thanks for hanging out. If you do want to interact more, check the YouTube channel. That's where I'm kind of hanging out, responding to comments. So much appreciated. Much love to you. Happy Wednesday. All right. And I'll just throw in a background for good measure. I mean, certainly industrial designers work on these products, right? Most certainly. They don't just come out of nowhere. Hello, Lauren Aid, TBA. Matt says, I stay far away from gambling. I believe it is for fools. Yeah, I get that. I mean, I've done it just, you know, out drinking and hanging out with people, but um, I wouldn't do it because I feel like I'm going to, you know, make a ton of money or anything. Because that's most certainly not the case. This is a roulette wheel that Matt asked me to draw. So that's what I'm doing here. So it's like one of those gambling. I guess I've never done anything gambling related on the show. <laughs> so this is a first. Keep it quick. Avert your eyes, children. So this I'm going to make like a wood texture eventually, but I'll just get the brown down. Brown down. And let's get some red and black going. Now it looks like, hmm. Okay, so we've got alternating red and black on the wheel. That's my observation. There's also green. I'm not going to do the numbers. I'm going to cheat and just hint at it because... That seems like a lot of work. And I'm not in the mood for a lot of work right now. So I'll start with this light red. Or a light red. Okay, it looks like this actually, proportionally speaking, is more like so. 
as far as where our colors will be. So all of this I'll make wood as well. Now nah, it's a roulette wheel, you know, where you, you throw the ball in, a little brass ball. Maybe I should put the ball in as well. You know, and it's like spinning or something. So yeah, I can put this ball in. Is this whole thing spinning or whatever? Matt asked me a few days ago, so I promised I would do it today. All right, so now let's alternate my colors here, red and black. which conveniently is hidden. The other reason to start with the red is if you do make a mistake, it's easier to cover up the red than it would be to cover up black with red. So that's why I decided to start with the red and then even then with the black, not going like a full, full black as well. A walker would be cool, like a Star Wars walker, okay. Usually I do sci-fi stuff on Sundays. I know I took a break this Sunday, but um, we could have a Star Wars themed show. That'd be fun. I wonder if Disney would try and sue me though. They're like pretty uh, onerous about their IP. Rightly so. You know? Yeah, now. This is Sketch Day Live. Thanks for joining hanging out all right let's make this centerpiece chrome or something I don't even know the name of the parts so if you're a roulette wheel designer watching this my apologies Apologies for not knowing the name of these parts you painstakingly worked on, no doubt. A little line weight to help out here. Pull things out. Um, also, Instagrammers, my phone might die. It's acting really weird right now. I think because the battery is like super low. So my apologies if it does, but the YouTube stream will go on. So if you want to catch YouTube, hit that up at youtube.com slash sketchaday.com. That's where you'll find all the goodness in the universe that is sketching. So up next, I'm gonna do a submarine sketch, maybe a couple, a couple different views of a submarine. We'll see. So the next thing I'm adding to the website and I'll be working on hopefully today is a marker selection guide showing you guys how to how to pick a marker when you're shopping, what do you do, what do you look for. Um, so yeah, that's something I'm going to add as well. Hope you enjoy that. Just more general information, not so much where to buy the markers, you know, how to pick your colors. I think I covered that a few days ago, um, talked about how to save money on your markers. Oh no, I didn't. <laughs> I gave that in a workshop. My brain is it's getting fried. All right. 
And something like that. So oh, can you guys see what it is now? Is this making a bit more a bit more sense? I hope. Yeah. Ellipse is off on this side, but whatever. <laughs> Uh, Chrome is difficult to sketch, indeed. Indeed it is. Thank you, Irfan. I'm here every day. That's that's my goal anyways. So happy to hang out with you guys. Let's make this look a little bit more like wood. Maybe this is more of a burl. Textured wood. Thank you, Explosive Yoda. Yeah, definitely just a quick sketch, but I'm trying to decide what to make the side. I'll, I'll just make it wood as well. Let's make it all brown. So always start light till you get it right. Now I can come in with a little darker brown, this E37. Let's go ahead and make my shadow core here a little bit darker. Rotate the paper to the angle that you feel most comfortable at. So that means you're gonna draw the best lines you can draw. So figure out what that is and then always try and orient your paper that way. Instead of contorting yourself to the paper, all right? So don't try and, you know, move your hand to where you think you need to be, but just rotate the paper. And chances are you'll have better lines for it. So again, this is not quite a black marker, so I'll be able to go a little bit darker on my strokes here. This is a neutral gray nine. And yes, chrome is hard, or can be. Faux show. Oh, this one's dry. Set that off to the side. How do I know where to leave hot spots? You just need to pay attention to your environment, wherever you are, and start making observations. So like even here, what I'm trying to do is incorporate some of the brown tones in the chrome. So it feels a bit more believable, like it's in the environment. Okay, so that's, that's a little thing you can do. Of course, it's gray, so we wanna have some gray in there. I'll probably add some white as well. And let's go darker brown with this section. So yeah, I'm imagining a light source, top top right. It's kind of what I'm imagining. So 
that makes it easier for me to kind of figure out where to put things. Bond tech idea. Oh, oh, hey, James. What's up, man? James is our newest Patreon. Patron. Thanks for joining. And an old friend of mine. So much love. Good to see you. Hope you're well. Send me your address or come pick up your sticker. Either way, it'll be good to catch up, man. So let's make these guys brass or gold of some sort. Just a little black. And some reflection spots. Okay, tell you what, I'll do a Star Wars show for, show for fun, or for, ah, Star Wars show for sure. <laughs> Say that 10 times fast. So I'm gonna write that down, Star Wars theme. So we'll do a Star Wars show. I will post it on the YouTube. Oh, that's true, Spang, they can't sue me, but you know, they're, they're really picky though. Luke is asking, do I use reference images? Um, if I do use a reference image, typically it's just to understand the mechanical makeup of something, but I'm not like looking at something to copy it, if that makes sense. Uh, when you say bond tech, you mean like ordinary objects that do extraordinary things? Is that kind of what you mean? Because that sounds fun. We could do that. But for sure, I will do a Star Wars show. For show. All right, so now we got our wood top and I'm thinking like a red background. I think that would, I think that would be nice. Marker rendering seems really complex at some uh, places. Uh, it can be. Dude doesn't swim says, let's see. I missed that comment because my iPhone keeps cutting out. I think it's like drawing too much power. Okay. I'm going to do a Star Wars show. Svetlana said it would be cool. So when I, when I post the, uh, preview for the show, I'm going to put up a thumbnail. And then I want you guys to comment on like what you would like to see if I were to do that Star Wars show. So let me know. I'm gonna try and get a little reflection in here. Oh, so Dude Doesn't Swim says, thank you for sharing, love the Mr. Project stuff. Thank you. Yeah, so if you guys don't know, I do woodworking as well. <laughs> I have another channel. Um, I've been kind of playing with my lighting related project and posting some pictures there. So if you wanna check that out, Feel free, no pressure. Appreciate it. Inspire to inspire says, looking nice. Thank you. This is my first roulette wheel. There's always lots of firsts on the show too. <laughs> Maybe that'll change over time. But yeah, man, sorry to, to start the show on just that somber note, but I, I wanna tell you guys, seriously, thank you for being here. I sincerely mean it. And life is short, you know? I lost a friend if you missed the beginning of the show. And the way I found out was just kind of jarring for me because sometimes you just assume people are okay and everything is fine. But in reality, check in on those people you love because you never know when, they, when they're gonna go. So that's my message to you today. So again, if you're curious about the pens, tools, whatever, it's all on the website. Built out a whole section on white pens, pens I'm drawing with today as well. Marker sections there, pencils, cameras, all of that stuff. That's all on the website. So if you're curious, check that out.
All right, let's get some brown in the ball here. It's gonna reflect a little bit. A little bit of red. And then finish it off. Whoa, that's a lot of gray. Rah. I need some, I'll be right back. I think I refilled that marker and it was like super juicy. I'm pretty sure, yeah. So I'm gonna have to let it, so let some of the ink soak up there. I was like, ah, too much, too much marker, but it's okay. background here yeah thank you Matt um, just uh, check in on people you love because you never know sad too because well <laughs> I don't want to get you guys down she she left some kids behind too, and uh, you know I just feel feel for those boys. So, anyhow, I don't care if you subscribe today. I don't care if you like the stream. I really don't. What I want you to do is get out there and hug somebody you love and let them know. Okay, that's all I ask of you today. So, okay, so a red background. <clears throat> um, Naaman's asking which channel am I talking about? I forgot what I was mentioning, Naaman. My apologies. Um, but you can you can message me on Instagram. I will respond after the stream. Maybe we can figure out what you meant. Didn't mean to ignore you. My brain off times is like a sieve, meaning. I forget a lot of things. Yep, hugs for everyone, Jaime. For real. I mean it. Hugs for everyone. Tell them you love them. All right, so I got my red background. Now let's make this pop a little bit more. Some line weight. Contrast is your friend, okay? So don't be afraid of contrast. Will help pull things out of the background when you're drawing. Oh yeah, the other thing I am going to change on the website is the addition of kind of a sketch gallery. And I'll just pick some of my favorite. I think instead of uploading everything, because I'm not sure it's really getting utilized, I'm going to just upload some of my favorites. And then I'll have those files available for download as well. So that will be launching and available soon. All right, sign as always. I guess I'm technically not done yet. Just a little bit of white. Thanks, Latrice. Oh, your brother-in-law from Nashville is called Spencer too. Cool. For the record, just, just so you guys know, um, I'm not mad. 
at anybody, but sometimes people like to call me Spence. I don't really like Spence, just letting you know. It's a thing. I get it. I really should stop. Sometimes it's so hard to stop. Just a little pencil to help out the shadow cores, any shadowed areas as well. Just help this pop. So there we go. Cool. Now let's move on to the next. <clears throat> so we did our roulette wheel. I think I'm gonna do the lemonade stand. No, I'll do the I'll do the submarine because what time is it? Uh, we've got 36 minutes. All right, let's do a submarine real quick. So took a look at these earlier, and I think the important thing, based on what I saw, anyways, is you kind of want to establish some plan or profile of what you're doing. Okay similar to other sketches I've done. So maybe this is kind of our sub profile. And then now I can draw the center line and you know, maybe pick some important or key points here. The nose, of course, important. Get a plane representative of this shape. Let's do that in a different color so you can see. So a plane here, right, representing our sub. We can do an overlay of this. So I'll focus on the structure here. So this would actually be flipped, <laughs> um, meaning the nose here, I'm actually putting here towards the front, okay? So one thing you can do is you can just sketch the profile, right? Let's find the midpoint of this plane looks like somewhere here. So I can find the midpoint here and I know this is gonna be my highest point. And now you just kinda of wanna estimate, or if you wanna go through the trouble of measuring, you can do that as well. Um, I'm just gonna throw down some lines to represent some of these key points along the body, right? <clears throat> and thank you Svetlana. Much love to you too. Discur is asking, what would James Bond's vacation canoe look like or do? Um, Explosive Yoda is asking about the Star Wars show. I think I'm gonna do Friday. So let's plan on Friday, Star Wars show. That should give you enough time to get me some suggestions. All right, we'll go from there. All right. So up to the back here. So now what I can do is sketch in some, I like to kind of think of this as 90 degrees. So if I were looking at the sub in this direction, okay, you've got the central plane that's now a line. And then now I wanna start sketching hulls essentially. So along this whole thing, you're gonna have changes in shape depending on the top view and how this looks. Now I could go through the trouble again of sketching this top view. So you may have something like this, for example, right? And so what I wanna do is take these widths and translate these into the sketch. So for example, here, you know, maybe I have some sort of shape like this. And when I get to this point here, I may have a shape more like this. You know, this line doesn't have to be along the central axis either. If we now have a taller midsection, we can come down like so, draw another hull. So it's like taking a laser knife through your sketch. Here on the top, okay, I can start to sketch maybe what this section looks like, right? We've got this transition kind of going as well through here. So just pay attention to all these lines and then you can start to sketch from your sections. Now, to me, it lends to a more rigid drawing. So what I'm gonna do is overlay this, but I do wanna show you the structure of what I'm doing here. 
Okay, so we do have this kind of tapering off in the back. So I want to be sensitive to that shape. And let's go ahead. I guess I kind of have this repeated hexagonal shape here. Maybe we'll go a little wider in the middle, actually. Just a little bit wider through here. Okay. And let's see. A little bit wider, maybe flatter on this bottom profile as we kind of wrap to the front. And then our tail section here. We'll just kind of scribble in a little profile, same on the end. And let's make room for the propulsion. Okay, propellers, whatever is happening at the back. I'm just gonna put just a box here for now. We can round that off, we can make it a circle, right? You could draw an ellipse in here, whatever you wanna do. So we'll leave that in. Now up top, <clears throat> right, I wanna capture this plane. This is gonna be a messy drawing, guys. So I'm gonna draw up here, like so, and then, you know, pay attention to your perspective line. So I've got one going like so, so, so by the time you get to the top, you might have a more, much flatter profile for this section. Okay, and the front, we have this slanted section here. You could even draw sections going down in this direction as well. And that's gonna help. What's up, catfish? <laughs> My friend Cat joined, hello, hello. So now in the front, I'm just gonna draw two lines like this. So let's just facet it out. Okay, you can, you can facet out this section as well. And this gives you a chance to then interpolate or um, what's the word? Find, find the curves between the straight lines, if you will. So sometimes it's helpful for me anyways to kind of draw with these straight lines. And then when I get to the final sketch, right? So you could connect these with straight lines for example, something like that. This front is probably off. This should be a bit longer. So let me go ahead and extend that out. Something like this, okay. And now I've got my, kind of my hull lines here that I can wrap to the back. And let's go ahead and put our, we'll just put some antennas and stuff at the top, communications array, whatever at the top of this sub, okay? I actually like if this extends out a little bit and maybe comes back. Kind of like that shape. All right, so now I've got this line drawing. I can remove this paper. Yeah, let's pound Friday for the Star Wars show, okay? Let's do that. So I'll put this paper underneath now. Actually, I'm gonna raise this up slightly. It's kind of like real life Photoshop, All right? So at this point, I'm gonna redraw, and like I said, kind of interpo interpolate or uh, find the curve in these straight lines. All right, just as I'm drawing here. So find that curve. Maybe the maybe the front is still a little bit squared off. <clears throat> maybe throw some section lines on as well. Totally fine. I forgot my little details, so I'll sketch that in. And the idea here being you want to redraw rather than trace as you're going. I guess the question is how do you get inside the sub, right? So this is where a reference is helpful. I can go, okay, here's kind of what's happening. You know, maybe there's a little railing here because this is the deck that you come up. 
And that's also going to help with scale. Meaning if, if this is literally a deck um, where people come out of, then it's going to give you a chance to have a frame of reference or point of reference if you're looking at this, okay? Thank you, Svetlana. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't even know where the hatch is on submarines normally, but I'll just assume or not assume, just start to part out the sub as well, right? Because it's made up of many panels and we can stagger those. Just sketch real lightly here. And we'll add marker to all of this. Let's see, 46. All right, I'm still still good on time. We might be able to do the lemonade stand. If not, perhaps tomorrow. But thank you again, Lori, for the suggestion. Lori also suggested we do crabs. So if you caught the show on Monday where we did lots of crabs, you can tell Lori thank you for that one. Um... That's interesting. I don't know why they have these stabilizer fins, but I suppose traversing through, I guess water is a fluid as much as air is a fluid. So how about we just add those on the top here on our sub. And let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what the back of a sub looks like. So I'm going to have to look that up. Uh, sub propulsion. That's what I need to look up. Or a propeller, what do those look like? Okay, so sometimes they're open, sometimes they're encased. Because it's a little bit easier, I'm gonna go with encased. Meaning I can just draw this square here and not have to worry about all the fins and all of that stuff. know maybe just kind of hint at hint at the fins but not have to do the fins little trick for you guys smooth at the back with just a propeller yeah I know I'm cheating am I going to make this a chrome submarine ooh that would be that would be challenging <laughs> I don't know I don't know if I will should I should we make this chrome guys what do you think? Chrome, hatches are on the top tower thing and you'll add fins to the front. Okay, fins to the front too? Huh. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm just looking at some pictures. Um, I mean, I could add like a central fin of some sort here. So it looks like they have them on the backs as well. Um, but yeah, how about we do a chrome submarine? How does that sound? I've already done a yellow submarine on the show, but we could do a chrome submarine. Okay, hi, May. You take care. Thanks for hanging out. Um, let's see. We'll start with neutral, neutral gray. All right, so as far as concentrating my shadow core and where it goes, meaning this is the point of most curvature on our submarine, I'm gonna follow this line. And since this is chrome, it's gonna reflect everything in the environment, okay? So assuming this is underwater, there's gonna be lots of blue, but also you're gonna get the uh, shades of the ground, things around it, right? So I'm trying to imagine, okay, what does the ocean floor look like? Um, if it's helpful, you could shade in the bottom. All the top surfaces, I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna highlight those with the bluish color. The side, uh, yeah, so if it's facing up, okay, I'm gonna have that be blue.
This is how I'm thinking through it anyways. And then anything down here would be a warmer tone. Browns, warm grays, that kind of thing. You found a liquid chrome marker, Lori? Where'd you find that? Just an art store? Is it on Amazon? Send me a link, I'm curious. It sounds fun. It sounds really, really, really fun. All right, so now, now to give it that chrominess, Y'all said chrome, so let's go. Sketch it live. Thank you for hanging. We'll get this a little warmer as well. And then on the top now, like I was saying, gotta get some nice bluish tones. Something like this. Oh, Molotow. Okay, I will look that up. That sounds awesome. Sounds like something I would enjoy. So thank you for the heads up there. Y'all have the craziest ideas, a chrome sub. <laughs> For real. All right. So when you're doing chrome, all I'm really trying to do is imagine what's potentially being reflected into these surfaces. That's the idea. And you have to be willing to leave a lot of white spots. So that's how <laughs> Spang says this would be the least stealthy thing ever. Yes, you are. Absolutely correct. It would be definitely not stealthy. Be just like popping everywhere. All right, thanks, Lori. Let's put some rivets on this guy. We'll also use the white pen just to kind of help it pop. Hopefully this is what you're after, Svetlana. Right, we went from kind of our rough sketch, side view, figured out our planes. I think I'll put this one up on the side because it is uh, definitely instructive in terms of getting your planes figured out, perspective, and so on. So thanks again for the challenge, guys. Yeah, I think I will have to do the lemonade stand another time. 
Lori, but thank you much. Also, I'm not sure if I had sent you your sticker. Let me know if you got it, Lori. If you guys have no idea what you're what I'm talking about, I do send a sticker and a note to all Patreons who sign up. Patrons. I should just call y'all Patreons. You know? This would be so much easier. Anyhow, Chrome is fun. It is very fun to do Chrome, for sure. All right, let's get some black in here. Thank you, Svetlana. I should do a lot of sketch on the show since some people probably have no idea what we were talking about yesterday. Yay, you got your sticker, awesome. Good to know. Yeah, this marker is like way too juicy. Let's see what I can do here. Don't worry about that. Backgrounds will clean it up. I just wanted to add some, some gray to the front. I refilled my marker and I put too much um, too much ink in, so that's what happened there. But there's always a fix, people. Don't you worry. All right, we'll see if my out of town guests will join. They just showed up from their walk. Thank you, Luke. So for this section, um, since I messed up, I could just put a background in or um, shade this in so it feels like underwater. There's a couple different things we could do. Um, so I'm trying to think here. Yeah, maybe I'll just do this. You know, just some lines. Backgrounds don't always have to be you know, squares. So now I can take some of this brown and gray, you know, even this juicy marker, since it is so juicy, just kind of use this. The whole point being you want to give your drawing some context with the background or use it as a, a way to kind of help the sketch pop. So here closer to the ship, for example, because I have this really light tone, I'm going to go really gray. So yeah, sometimes just get creative. come up with.
There could be a little crab at the bottom of the background. Possibly. <laughs> that would be interesting. Alright. Oh, what's up? Am I on your Instagram story? Come say hi. What are you doing? Are you being a weirdo? <laughs> You're on camera right there. You guys know this dude? Let me turn my head around. No? <laughs> Hector Silva's in the house. What's up? Let me finish up here. But yeah, I'm going to bring him on um, probably tomorrow or Friday. We're doing Star Wars Friday. Yeah. What? Right. You like Star Wars, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I just gotta practice how to sketch Star Wars stuff. <laughs> Whatever, man. Hector's like Hector's really good, so don't let him fool you. Alright, so let's get some bluish gray in here now. And then I'm gonna wrap up for today. Oh, who all that? the... Who that? Who that? Not everyone knows who you are, I guess. That's, but it's all good. I don't need... I don't... Yeah, that's fine. Soon they will. <laughs> Hector is an industrial design educator on Instagram. We go way back. So... Check him out on Instagram. He is Hectorius, I think is his username. Um, or if you've heard of Advanced Design, he also does that. Uh, runs that group. And they're just focused on design education for professionals and students, but primarily students. There you are, Blue Gray 5. So I'll just make. So I want this to be a little bit darker down here. Luke says, looks amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. wrap this bad boy up so yeah friday show officially will be the star wars show so get your sub submissions your ideas to me let me know what you'd like to see i'll i'll for sure do like a lightsaber i know somebody had mentioned like a walker um i mean maybe we could do some stormtrooper stuff maybe so yeah, we'll see. All right. I do want to go. I really don't want to mess this up, but um, cause you gotta know when to stop, right? just need a little deeper you know like I mentioned before what you kind of want to do is squint your eyes and look at your drawing and if you don't feel like you have the contrast that you need then take steps to enhance that contrast so <clears throat> that's what I was just trying to do there just a little bit Ooh, Baby Yoda. Yeah, I'll have to practice, but we could do that. This is the way, Svetlana. This is the way. All right. Much love to you all. I'm a bounce. Um, let's see. 
<laughs> Feeling rusty. Okay, thank you for watching, hanging out. It's been fun. Um, as always, appreciate the suggestions. Reminder, Friday, I'm gonna do Star Wars stuff. Tomorrow, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be live 100%, because um, I've got guests and I'm gonna take them to do some stuff. But if I'm here, we'll do the same thing. But Friday, for sure, we're gonna do the Star Wars show. Um, so let me know. Appreciate your time. Like I said, I don't care if you like, subscribe, whatever, donate today. Go hug a friend. Tell them you love them because life is short. That's all I want you to do today. Okay. Love you guys. Thank you for taking the time and hanging out with me. Until next time, peace out. Much love. And I'll see you next time on Sketch Day. Bye-bye.